kind of wait for this to stabilize. So I get a lot of background noise, like my laptop, fan, uh, cars, trains. I'm trying to have the classical music play just loud enough to kind of drown that out, but not drown me out. So let me know. Um, I don't think anybody's actually watching right now. Uh, but I'm the one B. You can call me B. Um, let's see. So the idea is these things on the back. Just put them up. That's kind of cool. All right. So I bought this because part of the uh, drawing from the shoulder is not just drawing lines uh, to redo it. So like you know that I've been doing, or you saw yesterday. That was it yesterday. What day is today? Today's Tuesday. Yeah. That I did. Um, <clears throat> these lines, which is the warm up. Jeez. And what I want to do, I think I mentioned this yesterday, is I want to scan this. Actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab up some white paper and do it on there. And then that way I can scan it later today. Uh, one sec. Okay. Great, this picture's being bent. Uh, white paper so that later on I can scan this. Just setting up the draw box stuff. You can't see that actually. It's uh, drawbox.com. Yeah, so shout out to them for setting up these lessons. Um, I think it was one guy. Um, Exercise, superimposed lines. So it looks like there's some other emotional self. E planes. So yeah, there's a lot to do here. So we'll do these uh, line exercises again first. <clears throat> and I think that um, I might cut out some of these lines. I think that I'll, initially, since I won't have to draw them, what did that happen? Did I break that? Um, yeah, let me know how the mic sounds too. <clears throat> I have my di different mic plugged in, but like, I only have three USB ports. So right now I have a webcam, my mic, and a mouse plugged into my laptop. I usually have a better keyboard because that uh, keyboard isn't so good anymore. But yep, let me know how the, if everything sounds. And, um, I know the quality could get better. I think you can't even see right now. A lot of my hands in the way. There's a one inch. One and a half inch. We'll do a two inch. I usually do this all the way down. 
is what I'm trying to do. But I'm on limited time today, so I don't want to just be doing lines all day. there. So I got this exercise from drawbox.com and there's a lot of I'm only on the first lesson on there. It's a free thing. Um, from what I understand, from what I've read about it, is the guy took a class and he just took what he learned and he's kind of like giving it out to everybody. And it's um, <clears throat> drawing fundamentals. And this is just to help what we'll do is we'll superimpose on these lines. We'll just keep drawing over them. Oops. Bumped my finger. So the idea is to <clears throat> draw on each one of these lines eight times. And <clears throat> helps to be sitting correctly, not leaning. sitting up straight and then draw from the shoulder <coughs> rather than the wrist so your wrist has a limited motion your elbow has a little bit better motion and then your shoulder has a much wider motion so you can control the lines at a wider distance and obviously the shorter ones don't need as much but you got to get used to that's one and then I put a tally mark next to the line. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. So that's it. I just drew over that line eight times. 
<clears throat> and it's all with hoping with just the shoulder. So <clears throat> and so you'll be able to see like you can see maybe a little bit on my lines like some of them are a little wobbly just a little bit and that means uh, that I can probably speed it up a little bit and think less about the line um, once you start feathering like going over the end of the line or lifting up or going down or something you're probably going too fast so we'll see how it works on this one I know that you can't see much two three four Seven, eight. Good, these are good lines. So I got this one too, this thing, and that's because um, you want to do curves too. And I was like, well, I can't really like draw a curve. Like, there's nothing to help guide me with a curve. So I got this to give me some different angles and things to play with. My idea is to. Oop, that's bad. It's two bad strings. There we go. Is to just make worksheets out of these. And once I have worksheets, then I can just print them out. Then I won't have to draw the line every single time. Or. I encourage you to follow along if you know, you're learning to draw. practice uh, let's see here. <clears throat> I mean it's not the whole idea of this is to get rid of drawing like see I'm already used to it but sometimes people draw like this and it's because they're unsure of where they're going and this is kind of to show a more definitive like just going with the line and then eventually Your lines will be so good that you'll just be able to work with them when you make mistakes. Because everybody makes mistakes. So we're moving pretty good. These lines are looking pretty good. <clears throat> 